The Inteleon Evolution line works great in any deck, but there's something special about it when it's paired with Zashi and V. So that's today's deck breakdown, is Zashi and V plus the Inteleon Evolution line, especially that quick shooting rapid strike Inteleon from Chilling Rain. This deck is very unique in the fact that it only has 4 attackers, your 4 Zashi and V. Here and there you may see one copy of maybe Zamas into V or something else, but because the Inteleon Evolution line takes so much space in your deck, you're going to only have 4 Zashi and V. So let's take a look at the deck to get a better understanding of this concept. So we've got the deck pulled up here, let's go ahead and take a look at the Pokemon to get things started. We have 4 copies of Zashi and V. 220 HP, metal type Pokemon, people are very familiar with this card, it's been out for a very long time since Storage Shield was released, and it stayed strong since it was released. Ability, Intrepid Sword, uh, you can attach some energy, draw some cards, end your turn, great way to end your turn, especially if you go first, you usually want to go first with the stack, so you can get Sabo onto the bench to get ready to evolve it next turn, and you can end your turn with Sashi and V's Intrepid Sword ability to draw some cards and get some energy going, and then Brave Blade dishes out 230 damage. So, Zashi and V, only attacker in this deck, like I mentioned earlier, and that's because this card can stand alone very well. It does a lot of damage all on its own, and doesn't need a lot of help. Of course, you could include maybe one copy of Zamasu and V, or something else if you have a little bit more room, to give you some other options. For the Sobble Evolution Chain, we have four copies of Sobble. You definitely want to be making sure that you're using the Rapid Strike Sobble over all the other Sobbles, because this is the Superior Sobble. For the, the reason for that is because it has Keep Calling, search your deck for up to three basic Rapid Strike Pokemon and put them onto your bench. So if you do go second, you can have Sobble in the active position, attach an energy, and use Keep Calling to find the other three Sobble in your deck and get them all set up to evolve into Drizzile's next turn and get those evolved into Inteleons. It's a pretty awesome attack on this Rapid Strike Sobble. And then we have four Drizzile. Of course, you want to be using the Shady Dealings Drizzile. When you place Pokemon from your hand to evolve into Pokemon during your turn, you search your deck for a trainer card. So you've probably been seeing this Inteleon Evolution Chain in a lot of decks and maybe not as many Crobat V. Obviously, the Dene GX is going away and everybody thought that Crobat V would easily replace the Dene. But it's been shown that the way to go kind of seems like this Inteleon Evolution Chain because of the Shady Dunes ability. You can find those trainer cards that you want to be finding with Crobat, you can find them much easier with Shady Dealings because it lets you search your deck for a specific one. And it also lets you get evolving into your Inteleon that can have some bonus effects with its quick shooting ability. So next we've got Inteleons. This isn't my first choice of what I'd like to have for my Inteleons. I would prefer to have more than one copy of the Rapid Strike Inteleon, but it's a very hard card to get because no one's get willing to give it to me in trades, which makes sense because it's very popular. So I only have one, which I actually got from an uncommon chest. If you want to see that clip, go to my channel and check that video out. But I have three copies of the Shady Dealings Inteleon. This is a very good one because you can find two trainer cards instead of one. With Drizzile, you can only find one. So Shady Dealings lets you find a bunch of trainer cards. And then with this Inteleon, Rapid Strike, Quick Shooting allows you to put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon every turn. So that's huge. It, instead of boosting damage with Berserker in a Turbo Zashian deck, you get to place some damage counters with Inteleon. This helps you set up additional knockouts later in the game and target down some of those smaller Pokemon on the bench. Moving on to trainer cards, let's kick it off with supporters. These ones are pretty standard. In my other deck of breakdowns, you've probably seen these cards over and over and over again. It's Professor's Research. This card your hand draws seven cards. Marnie, each player shuffles their hand to their deck. Boss's Orders, switch over your opponent's Pokemon with Wonder Bench Pokemon. So these are just very standard supporters, and again, Sashian, there's not really a specific support that caters directly to metal type Pokemon. So you have just Research, Marnie, and Orders. And then moving on to item cards, there's four copies of Crushing Hammer. This is one of my favorite cards, I love to put it in every single deck. It's just so fun when you get to discard energy from your opponent's Pokemon and disrupt them and see them get all mad. And then we have two copies of Energy Search. So this is a card that you probably wouldn't expect to see in decks. It's one that's very standard, often seen in theme decks, which gives it a bad rap. But Energy Search is in here because the idea of including this Drizzile and the Inteleon with Shady Dealings is to be able to find any card you need. Obviously, only let you search your deck for trainer cards, though. 
but so because of it only lets you search your deck for trainer cards, we have that restriction. We want to include trainer cards to allow us to find other Pokemon. So basically, if you have Evolution Incense, it effectively reads search your deck for any card because we can use it to find Drizzile. And then we can use Drizzile to find Energy Search if we want to find Energy. Or we can use Drizzile to find Quick Ball, to find basic Pokemon or supporter card or tools, really any name. So that's why we have Energy Search in here to open up more options with shady dealings and there are two copies of evolution instance you can up the count of this or lower if you want but it's a great card for finding your drizzles and intellions level ball does the same this allows you to also find sobble because it has 90 hp or less and fortunately the drizzle in here has 90 hp so level ball is a great card four copies of metal saucer to recharge your zashi v with metal energy from the discard pile Four copies of Quick Ball, discard a card for enhanced or check for basic Pokemon, find your Sabos and Zashins. Three copies of Switch. This one's very essential. If you're not familiar with the combo of Zashin V's Brave Blade and switching effects, as you can see on Brave Blade, it says during your next turn this Pokemon can't attack, but for some reason, if you switch this down to the bench and then bring it back up, Brave Blade resets and you can use it two turns in a row. So that's why you have Switch in here. And then two cards, I have one copy of Air Balloon for the same purpose as Switch. And then two Cape of Toughness, so if you're going up against another Zacian deck, uh, the Zacians can KO each other with Brave Blade. But if you have Cape of Toughness, it prevents that, which is great. And then 10 copies of Metal Energy. If you wanted to include some other cards, you're free to lower the amount of Metal Energy. So that's the deck overall, and since I do have all the cards for this deck, let's get into some gameplay. Alright, here on the versus ladder, as you can see, my deck was called Intrepid Shooting. It's kind of a funny name, I thought, kind of merging the two abilities. Oh, looks like he has the Sobble coin as well. Probably going up against some other sort of Inteleon deck. Would I like to go first? I would. You always want to go first with this deck if you can. Looks like we got a Mulligan. That is unfortunate. Only eight basic Pokemon in this deck. Like I said, you want to go first if you can, so that way you can get Sobble out turn one, and then evolve it next turn into Drizzile. Here we go, there's a basic Pokemon with this, and you have Level Ball to be able to find Sobble. So, and we have Marnie too, so, alright, a pretty good start. Let's see, he's starting Sobble, it's a great start. We want a Level Ball, for Sobble. Get him, and then we'll put him onto the bench. If I had to switch, I might keep calling, but... Unfortunately, I don't. And then, we'll keep Toughness, and Intrepid Sword. And there's some metal energies. That's pretty sweet. So we have another one in our hand. Next turn. I also have an Evo Incense for Drizzile. So things are looking very good. Alright, so definitely a Rapid Strike deck. Alright, there's another Sobble. We'll drop him on the bench. We will attach a metal energy. We'll Evo Incense. Let's look at through the deck here. Okay. Multiple copies of all the cards in this deck, so... I just mainly I want to see is if we had this Inteleon in here. Definitely want to go for the Drizz. The Drizz boy. Then we'll pop him onto the Sobble we played last turn. He has Shady Dealings. Would I like to search for a deck for a trainer card? I would. So I could grab the Crushing Hammer or I could grab the Quick Ball. I'm going to go with the Quick Ball. And I will go ahead and use this to get another Zacian on the bench discard the metal energy so that way I have another attacker if this Sashin in the active position does get knocked out we want to have another Sashin prepared so we'll pop him on the bench and then we'll research get rid of those other two supporters there's a crushing hammer we'll play that it's tails I don't know why I played that because I'm gonna knock out the sample anyway that was kind of a dumb move uh do I want a quick ball I don't think I need to this turn. We're just gonna Brave Blade. All right, and I have the Drew so I can find another switch. Next turn, I can reset the Brave Blade if I need to. There's an Inteleon off of the prize with shady doings. Let's see, all right, so there is Air Balloon. I am going to throw this onto the Drew's. We will Drizzile for an Evo Incense. So I can use this to find Quick Shooting Inteleon. 
I think that's the right play. Evo Incense for sniping Inteleon. And we will evolve him. And then let's attach the metal onto the bench here. I'm going to switch to this and then retreat into this to reset Ray Void. We will use quick shooting. Let's go after Octillery here. It doesn't really matter, all these Pokemon are gonna be one shot, most likely. And then we will Brave Void onto the Earth Suit to take another prize. Alright. So I think we're chilling here, you know? We got the Shady Doings and Teleon for next turn. There's another Sashian. Alright. There's a Shady Doings and Teleon. That's great. We will Metal Saucer onto the bench. And, alright, so, I'm going to, let's see, let's look at this card, alright, no energies in there, so I'm going to Shady Dealing to Teleon, Evolve, off this, I want to find Switch and Energy Search, as you can see, it's a good thing we have Energy Search in this deck, there's that, and Switch, alright, so now we can use those to be able to attack with this Sashin. We'll find the energy, and we'll be able to attach that to the Sasha down here. Switch into him. A quick ball away at Marnie for Sasha. Keep holding up the bench of these Sasha, so we always have attackers getting ready. Well, Marnie, draw some cards. There's some crushing hammers. Crushing hammer isn't going to do as much good in this matchup. Quick shooting to the artillery, and then I will brave void for another knockout. Slowly but sure, we were taking plenty of prizes. See, so one prize Pokemon. Let's see. All right, so I know I want to. I don't know. Um. Okay, so I'm kind of in the pickle here. Let's see. A crushing hammer. There's the heads. Okay, so I would like to have an, the ability to do like shitty dealings, maybe. Um, so let's see, how many metal slots have I used? I've only used one. So there's a very good chance that we'll be able to find some. So I'm going to attach here. And then I... I think I'm gonna retreat. I don't know, do I really need to? Because you won't be able to dish out a ton of damage. Yeah, I don't think I need to. Okay, we're just gonna quick shooting. And I'll trip sword. No energy. That is unfortunate, but we got some cards. Okay, there's a metal saucer. So we'll use that to attach to Zashin. We'll attach manually. The quick shooting like normal to the artillery. And then we can just brave void. I believe this is deploy. I think we should do this. Yes. So we'll brave void onto him. Take a knockout. Only two more knockouts needed. We might be able to do this. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, we've got him, everybody. Oh my gosh, that last turn was... I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I was so scared that we weren't going to be able to do this. Thank goodness we have quick shooting and Teleon. So now he brings that up. We can retreat. And we can Brave Blade for the win. Oh my gosh. If he had had a boss of Oris that turn, we would have been gone. Alright, victory! Victory! Mystery box, 25 coins! Awesome! Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the deck breakdown in that nerve-wracking game with the Zacian plus Inteleon Evolution Line video. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, we just recently got to 40 subscribers, so if we can hit that next hump of 50, that would be awesome. And drop me a comment and let me know what you think of this deck. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss new videos when they're uploaded on Monday and Thursday. 
that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, trainers.